Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today, I want to share with you a screen recording software called Wondershare Demo Creator. I have switched over from Screencastify to Demo Creator to create my lessons for my kindergarten class, as well as the tutorial videos for my channel because of the easy to use features that Demo Creator has, like screen recording and screen annotations, the web camera view while you're recording your screen, and the audio and sound options, and on top of that, an entire comprehensive editing studio. This software honestly reminds me of an even better version of iMovie, but it comes with so many more features that are ready to go for both Mac and Windows users. Demo Creator is designed for beginners to capture videos, lessons, presentations, and tutorials, and quickly turn around and edit them like a pro. So within this video, I'll show you all of the awesome features that Demo Creator has to offer. And at the end of the video, I will share with you how you have a chance to win an iPhone 12 through a Wondershare campaign where you get to showcase a productivity secret that you use to make your lives easier. So stay tuned for more information on that. And let's dive into Wondershare's Demo Creator software. When it's time for you to create a lesson for your students or really create anything using Demo Creator, you are first going to go ahead and download the software. And once it's downloaded, you'll see your little icon here on your bar. So let's go ahead and open it up. Once you press that icon, it's going to ask you if you would like to capture a new video or go straight to the video editor. So I am interested in capturing a new video. So let's press here. And once you choose that, it will come up with some options. Here is your webcam. So my webcam is currently closed. That's why it's black. But you would see your face here instead. You can move this webcam box around your screen. Or if you're not interested in showing yourself throughout the lesson, just go ahead and exit out. You'll also have a couple more options here on the bottom. You can choose your recording area. Um, to showcase your entire screen or just a part of your screen or a specific window. So if you use this drop down bar, you can see those different options here. So if I would like to just choose part of my screen, I am going to go ahead and drag these little boxes at the ends of the corners of these red lines here and just kind of move it around the part of the screen I would like to capture. So these little white boxes are gonna be at the tops and bottoms of your screens in each corner. And you just kind of wanna move it to wherever you would like to capture. Once you're ready, you can go and press the big red circle to begin recording your lesson. So once I am done recording my lesson video or whatever it is that you would like to record, it will automatically import into your Demo Creator Editor Studio. And you can see this video here on my, the bottom right. So once I'm done and I would like to edit this video, I'm just going to drag it into my editing bar here. So once you see that, you'll see a couple of different bars pop up. The first is the audio of your recording. The second bar is going to be your web camera here where you can further adjust um, your picture. You can move it around, make it smaller, etc. If you were choosing to record yourself, I did not record myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it all together and then I can move my sound down. And then this last bar here is your picture, which if you didn't crop it correctly in the first place, you can go through and crop it a little bit more. You can adjust it to make it bigger, whatever you want here. So this is the lesson video that I had created. And now I can add a couple of different features to this video. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys here is um, on the left, there are a couple of different options. So whenever you're editing a project, you can go and put in a title slide or an opener. And these are already animated. So they're really cool to just add in um, some features and text and they're super cute. So I can just go through and add this one in here and I can 
either um, adjust the text here on the right corner and I can say CVC words, Oops. CVC word lesson. And then I can go through and just kind of edit the text as usual with bold, italicize, change my font, change the font size, the color, etc over on the right hand side. There's also some features like shadow, which just makes it pop out and stand out even more. And you have a couple of different editing options here. So those are really cool to input within your lesson to just customize it a little bit more. Um, let's see, there we go. So, and then I can just move this around to whatever part of the screen that I would like, as well as this little squiggly line that came with the design. I can choose to have this um, go away right after a couple of seconds or um, extend it by just dragging it to the um, amount of time that I would like it to take up. I can also go and add captions. So, um, there's all these different dialogue boxes that are available. There's arrows, squigglies, circles. So this will help you further kind of edit and annotate within your um, project or your lesson that you're doing. And if you do have windows, you can annotate directly on the screen as you are recording your lesson. This isn't available for Mac users yet, but it's supposed to be coming out pretty soon where you could edit um, as you're recording. But you can also go back and add these different features in after you're done recording. So if you miss something or you would like to add something to your recording, you can always do that. So let's say I want to add my little bit emoji here. I can go ahead and do that where I asked the students to write down um, all other CVC words that they would find within the story. So I'm going to choose my Bitmoji with the pencil. And let's say that this is where I asked them to write down. So I can just add my Bitmoji to this screen. And then I can also add in a text box or a um, little dialogue box that has that as well. So let's go ahead and add in a dialogue box. Oops. There we go. And then on my dialogue box, I want to go ahead and say, write your CVC words. And then Again, you can go through and edit the um, color, the font, et cetera, whatever you would like, and then kind of just move that around your screen and adjust, of course. So um, those are just some really cool, simple features that you can add in. And like I said, you can extend this to however long I'm talking about writing CVC words. I can, um, go through and add some more animations. So um, these ones are super cute and cool. Like there are these little stars that you can add um, here. So if I'm introducing the story, I can have these little hearts come up or fireworks or these happy faces. And you, there's a drop down where you can see more animations. So background animations, educational edu uh, animations where you can add in a pencil or paintbrush or a green check mark if they got something right. Things like that. Um, even a gesture. So like if I'm asking the students to click on a certain part of the screen, I can add in this little clicking icon um, and show them what they need to do and where they need to go. For instance, I ask them to go ahead and read the story somewhere around here where they needed to go and turn the page. Um, so I can go ahead and put this little clicking icon here where they would tap to turn the page and move it to the area that they would tap on. So when it's time, they would have this play and they'll see this little button clicking. So those are just some really cool features that you can add in um, really easily 
as you are going through your lesson and editing your lesson. This has taken me maybe what three minutes to just add some really cool things and elements to my lesson, if that. There's also these really fun transitions if you're going from slide to slide or video to video that you can add in um, to just make it seem more professional and polished. Um, they have other effects like the green screen that you can add as well. And if you are um, wanting the students to really pay attention to what it is that you're showing with your courser, they have these different options where your courser can be highlighted, um, you can add a ring around it, or it can make a clicking sound. So if you really do want them to follow what you're doing, you can use any of those features as well to kind of go back in and emphasize what it is that you're showing them. So these are just some easy ways to edit your project. Um, I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not at all. All you're doing is simply dragging and dropping. And once you're done editing, um, you're just going to go up here and click on export and it will save your file um, as an mp4 and you can save it to your computer you can upload it to whatever platform you're using you can add it on youtube as an unlisted video if you don't want it to be public there's tons of options of what you can do in order to kind of share your um your lesson video with your students or with ever your audience is that you're making this for so let's now take a look at that video that i just edited Hi guys, today we're gonna practice finding our CVC words within a decodable reader. So remember our CVC words are our three letter words that we can use our letter sounds to help decode what the word is. So if we come across a word that we don't recognize as a sight word and it is three letters, we are going to use our tapping lesson where we are going to tap out one sound at a time to decode that word. As you can see here, the first word in our story is a three letter CBC word. So what you will do is pick up your tapping fingers and tap it out like this, K -a -t, cat. And you're going to do this again and again throughout the story, cat in a cap. And I will also like for you to grab a pencil and a paper and write down all of the CBC words that you have come across within the story. And you will take a picture of it and submit that list of words to me on Seesaw. I hope that you guys love Wondershare Demo Creator and I am going to make sure to link the free download link in the description box below along with some tutorial videos that will go over each of these features a little bit more in depth. But as promised, I want to share with you guys a little bit more about the campaign where you have the opportunity to win an iPhone 12. So on your Share Your Productivity Secret campaign, Wondershare would like for you to create a video using their demo creator software to show and share um, some tools that you recommend on becoming more productive. So you're going to create that video, share it on YouTube, and then include the tag share productivity secret in the title. You can go ahead and submit the video here on this page, which I will also link below. And then you have the opportunity to win some prizes. Grand prize gets an iPhone 12. They also have five $100 Amazon gift cards to give out. And then eight people would get one year license to Demo Creator. So you guys would have to make sure if you're interested to have this submitted by December 27th um, so that they can go through and watch these videos and decide on a winner. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the description box below where I will link everything mentioned in the video. I hope you liked this product and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.